Hello everyone, welcome to today's Word in a Flash. I'm um, getting ready to head out to the iMotorsports motorcycle dealership in St. Pete, Florida. I'm going to have a demo today out there. Sorry folks, I was just announcing that I normally ride with the Indian Motorcycle Riding Group out of St. Petersburg and I was on my way to St. Petersburg to do a demo ride at the local dealership. I would have to delete a lot of this first part of the video because I had my helmet shield up and my microphone is located inside the helmet. So bear with me until I get back my microphone down. I messed up my helmet up earlier, folks. <laughs> I don't know what you're able to see. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, we're heading to St. Petersburg with the iMotorsports. It's going to have a demo day for the Indians, I believe. They also sell Kawasaki's out there. I used to be a Kawasaki guy. My first three, four motorcycles were Kawasaki's. Then after a while, it didn't matter anymore. I bought the brand that I liked, the model that I liked. Each motorcycle brand has its own niche and its own market, so making the comparison is kind of hard sometimes. But I tell you what, you can't fail with a gold wing, and that's what I'm enjoying now. Now turn left. Overcast today, and the seas are calm. Look at it, look how calm the waters are. Don't see the white caps anywhere. I wonder what the water temperature is. I can contemplate coming out here with my stand up pedal board. I don't know. See if I can make the time for it.
might be a little quieter to you. I need to clean my bike up, my helmet, shield, and everything. There's Barney St. Pete. I told y'all before, that's where I bought my motorcycle from. And I went and visited that location in Brooksville the other day. Quarter of a mile, keep arrive on to I 275 South toward St. Petersburg. Now keep right. Caution, motorway. This would have been a great career to be in without traffic in front of me. We have made it to our destination. Okay, we're down here. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride the Challenger. I'm gonna ride a Chieftain. Here it is. The Indian Chieftain. We'll see how that goes. As you know, this is a bit different style of riding. Something I have to get used to. So that goes. 
The key fob okay. is already here. All you gotta do basically is just where is it? You hit your switch and oh, the switch is off. Okay. Yeah. You need to go through the bike with you a little. Well, yeah, I uh, uh go wing. It's so red gold wing back. Your power. Okay. There's no key switch on these bikes. It's a key fob. So you give that one nice firm press. That lights you up. That's like turning your power on. Okay. That's kill. That's start. Okay. Just tap it. She'll spin until she fires. If you want to do something with your wind, it's this button right here. Oh, wow. Turn so. those right there. Just like right If you want a little less, little less volume, just turn that down. This is going to zoom your nav. Okay. When your nav screen comes on. You got this button right here. You use that to scroll. Once your nav is up, You're right. this will zoom your nav. Down is out. Wow. Cool. That's pretty neat. Get used to collecting again, folks. Man, I get used to shifting again, folks. This is definitely a different riding style than the Gold Wing. Had it in neutral, didn't realize it. Okay, so it's a different kind of ride. That's all I can say about that. I'm going to record one little bit of us getting on the highway here. This isn't bad. This windshield is bigger than I thought it was. And it gives me pretty good wind coverage to my helmet. Now we're out on a different ride. I'm driving the Indian Challenger now. Come to find out this bike is more conducive to uh, my physique and the way I ride. So this is good. There's two other bikes behind us. We had one got caught by a light, so they'll be up here in a minute. Or well, maybe not before we get done with this. But I like this bike. I like the power band of this versus 
the other bike I rode. me the clear winner here is the Indian Challenger. The Chieftain was nice but I prefer the riding position of the Challenger and the, the nice uh, power band on the engine. It's more like what I'm used to on other bikes. This bike brings to mind another bike I fell in love with some time ago, the Yamaha Eluder. This is a nice bagger but the heat from the pipes kept getting to my legs. That's the only reason I wouldn't have bought that Eluder. The only odd thing I found in this was the uh, Challenger is only two pounds lighter than my Honda Goldwing. That's odd considering it's not much bike compared to my Goldwing. This bike is definitely worth me considering as a second bike. Thanks for watching.